Eric Inlander. I'm a physician in practice in internal medicine in New York City. Several years ago, when I returned to Ireland for a vacation, a boyhood friend of mine said, Derek, you must do something for me because I'm suffering with a terrible condition called myalgic encephalomyelitis. I said to him, I'm sorry, but I don't know what that is. And he said, well, it's a very peculiar condition where I am suffering from debilitating fatigue and I've had to give up my job. I returned to uh, New York and I actually um, started learning about this peculiar condition. That was about 15 years ago. Subsequently, I have found that there are numerous people who actually suffer from this disease. And this disease is not a new disease. It has not been discovered in America, as some people um, claim. In fact, it has been described by Dr. Charles Shepard in his book, Living with ME, as a condition uh, which uh, in 1750 was described by Sir uh, Richard Manningham. We believe that Florence Nightingale on her return from her famous nursing uh, trip in the Crimea, suffered uh, from a massive debilitating condition. In fact, this debilitating condition did not allow her to perform her normal tasks, and she had to actually stay at home. Later, Charles Darwin, on his return from his uh, exploits also suffered from a massive debilitating condition. Both uh, these episodes are similar to what we now describe as myalgic encephalomyelitis, which is uh, the term used presently in Britain, Ireland, and the Commonwealth. It's shortened sometimes to ME. In America, the same condition is called chronic fatigue syndrome. It's also uh, termed chronic fatigue immune dysfunction syndrome. And originally, in the early days, was termed Icelandic disease and uh, post-viral fatigue. This panoply of terms show that there is some question about the cause of this disease, which is still unknown. The disease actually uh, manifests itself by massive debilitating fatigue, and we will go into the actual diagnostic criteria shortly. The patients actually who suffer uh, from chronic fatigue often function at substantially lower uh, level of activity than they previously um, functioned. The fatigue interferes with not only their social activity, but also their job and professional life. In addition to these key uh, defining characteristics, patients with this condition suffer from certain side um, effects. Non-refreshing sleep yeah, and insomnia is frequently seen. The patients actually can suffer from uh, tenderness and pain in muscle and joints. There is weakness, impaired memory loss, concentration loss, and patients actually find that post-exertional fatigue is uh, seen after even minor exertion. The cause of uh, myalgic encephalomyelitis or chronic fatigue syndrome is unknown. We believe that it might actually be a reflection of some prior exposure. The exposure actually might be um, an insult to the immune system. As various other uh, diseases and medical conditions can cause fatigue, these conditions must be ruled out as a possibility of causing the fatigue 
prior to the diagnosis of chronic fatigue syndrome being made. The criteria of uh, chronic fatigue syndrome uh, have been uh, published in the Annals of Internal Medicine. These criteria were published in uh, 1994 by Fukuda uh, and uh, several co-workers. I shall read, actually, uh, the particular criteria. In order for chronic fatigue syndrome to be um, diagnosed, it, uh, it must be clinically evaluated an unexplained, persistent, or relapsing chronic fatigue of six months or longer duration that is new and of definite onset. It has not been lifelong. There are no other known medical conditions uh, which can explain the fatigue. It is not the result of ongoing exertion, not substantially alleviated by rest, and results in substantial reduction in previous levels of occupational, educational, social, or personal activities. Two, the concurrent occurrence of four or more of these symptoms. Substantial impairment in short-term memory or concentration, sore throat, tender lymph nodes, muscle pain, multi-joint pain without swelling or redness, headaches of a new type, pattern or severity, unrefreshing sleep, and post-exertional malaise lasting more than 24 hours. These symptoms must have persisted or recurred six or more consecutive months of illness and must not have predated the fatigue. The spectrum of diseases that can actually uh, cause uh, fatigue, uh, other than chronic fatigue, are, are varied and multifold. They can actually be simple diseases such as anemia and complex diseases such as leukemia and cancer. Other uh, immune disturbances such as lupus, uh, thyroid disease, and diseases in which um, the body uh, is uh, chronically infected, such as tuberculosis, sarcoidosis, or other uh, conditions. 